interview as well as the document review uh, as well as uh, there some uh, weather data and climatological data will be collected from the meteorology department Sri Lanka. Mm, for my system development, I have used the waterfall model because of uh, easy to documentation for, for the purpose I have used the waterfall model. Mm, I have used web based model because uh, frequently updating the weather data to, uh, to give the this weather data to farmers based on the agricultural economic practices. Uh, then for that my uh, today I have used the outside oriented design uh, and also I have developed some diagrams also for examples, use case, and then there diagrams and activities, sequence and class diagrams. Uh, I have only mentioned the use case diagram. Here we can see in my system I have uh, 48 3 actors server as well as the operator and admin. Uh, server can be a primary or secondary. Uh, admin normally the admin is the common operation, uh, report generation as well as the, uh, uh, give the grant benefits to the staff and other things. Uh, the server means, explain there are two servers. The internal means that I can use the one server. And externally I collect the weather data from the uh, internal website. So that's the external server. Uh, for the requirement for my system, these are some software requirements from server and uh, Windows server, we can use the 7 as well as Windows 8 uh, in the Chrome. Uh, this is some hardware requirement for my research. Uh, for my research, I have uh, used this type of develop, uh, developing tools and PHP and MySQL used to, uh, as a main um, tools for my project, uh, MySQL is used to connect in the database and other things and HTML, CSS are used to uh, the interactive, give the interactive uh, friendly environment to the uh, farmers and also the Java, addition to the Java script and jQuery also to form my system. Then we will see the important part of research and discussion. Uh, this is my system home page. Uh, here you can see the main menu as a meteorology and uh, crop water requirement and the irrigation scheduling and other some extra scoping. Mm, we will see one by one. This is the main form of my research. Uh, so here we can see this is, the, this is one of the form to find out the irrigation scheduling for the particular crop. Here we can see the uh, server option. Uh, when farmer give the uh, planting date and the harvesting date as well as where they have to cultivate and which crop they want to cultivate and also the soil type, the area. If we give this type of data, we can finally get the how amount of water need to the particular crop as well as the particular soil type. This is my uh, important aim for that, my system. Uh, this is also another one. This is also same like that, but this is somewhat different from this one because here uh, we can I use the uh, climatological data to find out this thing. Uh, this is an accurate one compared to uh, farm no another data, extra accurate data. I mean, the particular for today we have to calculate no. For example, minimum temperature and maximum and other things. If you give uh, this type of data extra, we can get. Uh, uh, more than accurate than this method. This is the difference between two, two forms. Mm, then finally we can get this type of answer. Uh, this is a planting date, I just put this type of things. And harvesting date, we can, uh, this is a duration about uh, 91 days from uh, the total uh, irrigation requirement for that, for like this. And we can tell the number of application need for uh, particular 91 days. And, we, um, and also the how much of water need for the particular crop. For example, this is I mentioned that uh, manual crop in the particular area. Here we need the uh, 24.19 uh, meter cube water is need for the uh, particular period of uh, August to November. This is the main thing of my system. Here this is a summary of this one. We put uh, the, all the data in the form one, we can get the answer from this form two. Uh, addition to that, there are some uh, additional fun uh, functionalities also I have developed. This is a uh, patterns. This pattern means the climatological patterns for the uh, each month in for the uh, each uh, weather parameters. Mm. This is also additional functionalities. We can give the I can this is get I get from the uh, another weather server. We can get the forecasting data as well as previous weather data from the. Uh, particular, uh, sorry, for the particular district. So we farm, farmers can uh, do the calculation practices based on the this type of meteorological information. For example, uh, if the particular area has a high amount of uh, rainfall, we can cast in the particular from some area rise. 
So based on the irrigation, uh, irrigation and other meteorology information, with farmers can get the idea about the agronomic practices. Uh, this is what another additional functionality is. Uh, this, by using this functionality, we can get um, how and how the water will evaporate from the particular soil as well as the particular plant. Based on that, I can calculate the irrigation ceremony. This is also another board. Um, finally, I can um, uh, use the use evaluation also um, based on my research in the agrarian science center. Um, this is a sample form of my Presenia uh, format I used in the agrarian science center. So finally, I conclude that the proposed computer model offers a simple and effective tool for the calculating the irrigation schedule using the modified payment equation. This is that by using this formula, I calculate the all the uh, sums. Then to it estimate the irrigation requirement for the crop, it may be a green crop or vegetable crop, any other crop in the particular district, in the basis of daily or monthly. Uh, and also, it uses the long-term historical climate database for the uh, daily evaporation arms race and rainfall in the different locations to, uh, to calculate the daily water budget for the crop zone in the particular area. Uh, finally, the, through this system, farmer can take the climate data as well as the forecasting data um, by using the main low card copy from the agrarian service center also. Uh, I'm going to do some future research uh, I'm developing. This, uh, I'm developing the connecting to all the, uh, this system to all agrarian service in the online. online. And, and also, I can now I'm developing the smart farming for use, by using the mobile phone. Uh, farmers can no need to go to the agrarian service center to get this type of data. They just access through the other phone also. I, now I'm developing this type of system. Uh, these are the different I do to for my research. Thank you. Thank you.